Hello everyone, uh, today I wanted to feature this uh, lady which is uh, Mimosa and Mimosa is uh, a beautiful, was blooming this last month in February and I want to bring my process on how came uh, I bring the outside ideas like this Mimosa and then how I print these flowers into my pages and when I say print it it's like um, getting different ideas on how manipulate and add these elements into my pages and uh, or create journals or create collages. And the first thing that I did was echo printing with them, creating um, papers uh, that will bring these little flowers into the pages. I will make a, a going through my process and then we come up back to these papers and make a collage with the different papers that I create, okay? Uh, there are many ways that you can uh, uh, print nature into your papers and then add more nature elements into your art journals or into your collages and one of the, the techniques that I really love to use is uh, different techniques on echo printing and with this bundle I'm gathering different kinds of paper I've pressed soaked in a loom which is a mordant and I will use different techniques to add print and print these um, mimosa flowers there are many techniques and I love to mix them and create this unexpected results because we never predict and we never can uh, control uh, these processes. So I will make I love to make the bundles and the other thing that I really like is then create different kinds of paper. We can print on a jelly plate, we can monoprint on other kinds of substrates, we can use the fabric, we can use the paper, you can press the leaves or the flowers and use in your pages and combining different elements you will create an interest collage page or the journal because when we want to create, imagine a journal, you want to create diversity different kinds of paper, different colors, different textures. When you go through that journal, it's full of nature and reading this nature inspiration that you add. So that is my process and I will do this bundle. And then let's move into my journal and create with different papers that, I've cre that I created using other techniques. So as you've seen, we can create different kinds of papers and fabrics using the echo printing techniques. And I like to mix these techniques with, for example, gel printing and then create, for example, like in here, and create different kinds of paper. Here is mono printing with ferns, uh, with actual the, the, the ink of the fern, I, then I like to create um, mark making papers and fabrics and you have the the videos of the last videos I created with these marks and for example this one is gel printing and echo printing and then I doodle some flowers so the key here is that you create a variety of different elements can, that you can add into your page and create a beautiful collage to work on further and I'm going to do that here, just tearing some papers and start collaging them in a way that I like and then a journaling, an art journaling on it, okay?
well after some days I've made this page I just come back and I am I'm not liking this part you know I know so many of you tell me that you struggle with um, composition on your journal and uh, as in a painting or in a collage or whatever we composition is important of course and these are the places where it can be just very explorative so in my in my journals um i use them like sketchbooks to brainstorm ideas so um sometimes i do pages that i don't like of course and sometimes i come again on them and i just continue going with them so on this one I did not like this because we have this block here which I love. I love this part of the page. There's marks and I love the restness of this part here. But then are those blocks here that are really competing with this block and those flowers competing with these ones which I don't like. So I will just make something here. I don't know where this leads me. Where I go with these, I'm just going to play and continue over this page. So enjoy. I will put some music and you just go with me with um, just for um, follow me on this adventure of transforming this page. Okay, so let's go now.
well, my friends. I think that's enough for now. I just find it much more, much more balanced. This was a page inspired on Mimosa Flower. So, uh, as you could see, we just, the idea is like, go for a walk, I gather something, then I manipulate papers, I have all sorts of paper that I could come up from the mimosa, I just sketch some ideas on it about the flowers, the leaves, uh, these are not the leaves of mimosa, but these are not flowers of mimosa, but I have uh, inspiration from them, the color, this is from mimosa, so, you know, I then use, um, the combination of things that I love to explore in nature and create an assemblage, a collage, a page, something that sparks um, that um, experience I have in nature with this. So, I don't know. This is my process and I hope you find some bits of inspiration from here and together to just go and gather your own inspiration and how to just assemble a page and aha uh, and i hope you could see that from the other page that i didn't like it because it was too saturated you know like it needed some rest okay so now i put the white it settles all down and make me space to create on top and move forward and now it's more um we have two parts this is the focal point for sure and then we can just move the, around to explore other areas of this page so my friends i hope you liked this video is like an inspirational video around the mimosas and have fun creating don't forget you only need nature to get inspired if you want to uh, be part of our community um, be sure you subscribe to my newsletter. It's our um, nature magic art news. I send a newsletter weekly and I always work hard to make there and to juice it with lots of inspiration, lots of tips and ideas and concrete actionable ideas that I put on my newsletter. So you go, continue go and growing your um, creativity. So that's all for today, my friends. I hope you enjoyed. Have a great week for exploration. I see you next. Bye-bye.